Daniel Ezra Gary here, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Radio Shack 12-257. Now, um, it's been a while since I made a unboxing video, but I thought, you know, I'm kind of bored right now, and I thought I would unbox this. I got this earlier. Um, same day I actually got my Silver 522, but that's actually at my house. I'm at my grandma's right now. And, yeah, I didn't make an unboxing video of that because I actually unboxed it in the car because <laughs> how excited I was for it. And it does work. Um, so, yeah. I will probably make a video showing that off later. Maybe in, like, a collection video or something. Or you can probably just see it in my weather radio videos, you know, weather alerts and whatnot. So, yeah, but, like I said, on board, might as well just do a quick unboxing. It's probably the quickest unboxing because this radio is literally just a singular button radio. So, yeah. But uh, here's the box. It's kind of like the 254 box and the 250 and the 249 and um, some of the 261s, the 2003 ones, and some of the 259s. Um, let's see, what else? There's probably some. I think the 253 came in this type of box too. But yeah, I think this is made 2001. This side, see, so, yeah, I mean, you know, could you imagine just walk to Radio Shack and seeing this on the shelf for probably $30 or whatnot? I don't know how much these sold for. I'd probably say $29.99 or maybe $25 or something like that, somewhere around there. But, uh, yeah. Radio Shack did not sell radios for cheap, you know, like the 996s, whenever they first came out, they were like $70, $80, and the 519s, you know, they weren't really cheap. It's nothing from Radio Shack was really cheap. Alright. So here's the radio. Um uh, has the belt or a little um strap here, which I will most definitely put on it so I can hang it off a of radio antenna. Kind of like what I did my HH50. Any instruction manual, it doesn't have the instruction manual. Only hell is radio has one button and a couple switches. Um, you see here's the back of it. If you want to look at that. And um I don't know why I would use this in an office. Maybe if there was like a bad weather day and you were kind of you know, want something to listen to. No, I think Radio Shack should have put a headphone jack on their weather radios, but none of the none of the handheld radios they make have headphone jacks. Right, the two nine or nine and three or whatnot. So let's put batteries in it and let's see if it turns on. Oh, I guess that's a good sign. Nothing's playing though. Eight percent. Sunday night, oh, mostly clear. Lows in the lower. Oh, so it does have an auto scan, so Southwest that's why it took so long. And I guess you can push this button if you have more than Monday, one channel. Mostly sunny. Um, but I can only get one channel here, so that doesn't really matter. Southwest um, around five miles. Put an alert. So on vibrator, which I'd probably leave it on vibrator because I don't want to tone or sound for three hours. So let's go ahead and do a siren test. Yeah, we'll put on the first we'll try to vibrate, then we'll try. I'm guessing this is how you do it. Mostly sunny. Yeah. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Yeah. Perhaps it's like a phone vibrator. That's kinda of cool. I'm gonna put it on top. Chance of showers and thunderstorms. Nothing. Oh wait, it has to be an alert. There we go. So it sounds like a two fifty or two four nine or two four. Well, actually, sounds like a two five four actually. You see, the LED is red now, which I guess means there's an alert. Yeah, that's cool. Let's try the vibrator. I don't think it's any different. Oh! Okay, well, I guess it makes no difference, but whatever. Um, I don't know whether. Might do a little channel searching. Chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 80s. 
But yeah, for $25, um, it's not too bad of a deal, to be honest with you. Um, this one actually has the antenna cover, <laughs> believe it or not. So, uh, yeah, well, pretty cool. Has the box and everything. Very small radio. Like here it is compared to a surge detector. I don't know what it's better to compare it to. It's very small. Or compare it to... Hell, I don't know. I guess the box. The box is not that great of a comparison, but yeah. It's smaller than you think it is, most likely. Um, yeah, it's very small. You see, it fits in the palm of my hand. As you can see, it fits in the palm of my hand. And I have uh, medium sized hands. They're not big, but they're not small. So, yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching this quick unboxing um, of the Radio Shack 12 257. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have a nice night or a nice day whenever you're watching this video. I'm filming at, um, currently 11.01 p.m. So, yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching for the third time, and have a great day. Goodbye.